Like, look up right now. Oh my God. That's a bit, a bit close for comfort. It literally looks like he's circling this specific house. Yeah, he does. That's uncomfortable. I don't this is it. very uncomfortable. Mate, he's circling this specific. There's a fire down there. What is going on? Is it the end of the world? Okay. <laughs> this is the police chopper coming after you that did this. So today, something completely di <coughs> What happened to my voice? No. That was really weird, wasn't it? It's like, oh. Okay, here we go. Let's start this again. We are in a amazing mansion in Beverly Hills, which you guys are going to see next video, not this video, because today we're going to do something a little bit different. I have got myself into pens. Thank you, Kevin Leary, Mr. Wonderful. And uh, it's, it's like a new thing. It's like watches, pens, whatever. Uh, so today I'm going to show you what I've acquired for pens. And I don't know the first thing about it. I don't know the first thing about pens, should I say. And with that said, I'll probably mess everything up. So, and I also got a deal for you guys, which I'm going to come to later on. So where should we start, Adam? I mean, there's a lot of pens in there. So. Oh, there's a lot of pens. Look, there's another layer of oh, pens. I went goodness. nuts. Wow, okay. Okay, let's well, start at the top. Start closest to you then, I guess. So the, the really good stuff's at the bottom and in a box here. And we'll get to that first. Now, some of these pens I did show in the Kevin O'Leary video, but there's only, I think, three or four of them. The rest of them are all new. Again, I don't know the first thing about them, so I'm going to do my very best. I'm going to start with the, the funny pens, what I call funny pens. And let me show you why these are funny pens, and I'll leave them out of the box when I did it. This is a carbon fiber Mercedes-Benz pen. It was given to me. I certainly didn't buy it. It must have come with a car at some point, uh, but it's really nice. But the really funny thing about it, this is an Aston Martin carbon fiber pen, clearly from the same factory. They must have had a deal. The ends are slightly different, but everything else about them is the same. They're actually cool. They are, how do you open it? <laughs> no, not like that. <laughs> Hold on, I think I broke it. This is a, what is this one? This is an Aston Martin pen. So, doesn't sound healthy, does it? There we go. Yeah. Rollerball, very nice. And this one I'm sure is also a rollerball. Yeah, it was a, a deal. So these are my two cheapest pens. I lie, this is another cheapy pen. Another freebie, Mercedes Benz. Another Mercedes-Benz. It's actually quite nice and it feels really nice. I don't know who makes it, but it was a, it was a freebie. So that tells me I spent too much money at Mercedes-Benz. I don't own a Mercedes-Benz. I showed you this before. This is a Jacob & Co. Wouldn't you know it? Isn't that amazing? Beautiful, beautiful pen. And it's a rollerball and yeah, nice. So because they did a different color, this is a new acquisition. You haven't seen this one before. This is exactly the same with a yellow top. What do you think of that? They're cool. What are you going to do? I just, I can't see them back there. Oh, take one, have a look. It's actually fun, right? Yeah, that's cool, yeah. I literally just bought that. And tell everybody, shall I tell them? What are you going to tell them? That I'll do cutaways of these. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've already seen it because I will have already done it. You've already done it. So Adam, please do cutaways of these and, and insert them with close-ups. And he has some very professional black gloves to wear. And I have this beautiful Naldi from Italy wipe. So let me look professional and wipe the... No, whatever. You've seen this before. This is a gold cross, I think. Hold on. <laughs> Eye bobs. No deal on these. This is in fact a Waterford. I said it was a cross. Waterford or Waterman? The glasses aren't strong enough. I've heard of Waterman. Um, yeah, Waterman. You I, sure? Yeah, yeah, I used to have a Waterman pen when I was at school. But that's a gold one. Yeah. Well, how did her mum was a gold? It might have been. It wasn't. No. <laughs> but it's lovely, right? That is very nice. 
Okay. Um, Are you embarrassed that I know more about pens than you? This is an awful <laughs> review of pens, isn't it? I'm getting to the good stuff. I'm getting to the. I promise there's there's good stuff underneath here. We're going to title this so. video. I pull random pens out of my pen box and show them to the camera. This is as good a title as any. Okay, this is a. Uh, Marcus <laughs> Neiman. Neiman Marcus pen. It's a Neiman Marcus pen. Is that like an insurance I'm not even I'm not even putting that one in. Cut that one out. Shall I hide it? I'll put it in. Whatever. Okay, next. Uh, this is this is a real pen. This is a nice pen. I know pen. what that pen is, and it's not as expensive as you think. What is this one? To spin it. No no no. Twist it. I'm so bad, you know, sorry. What is it? That's the Panzera. It is? Yeah. Let me see. Can you see the top? This yeah. is a nice pen. That's the Panzera. So how much are these? Uh, oh, good question. I'll, I'll do my Hold on. You, you keep doing it. We have a deal on this. I know we have a deal we on do, this, right? Yeah. We have yes, some not. discount. Considering that you've just been pulling out Jacobs and you pulled out that one and said how nice it was. It's a test well, 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 wait. The Jacobs are very nice as well. Don't get me wrong. The oh, Jacobs are very, very, how very much, nice. How pen. much is the Jacob? Uh, I think 700 bucks. Right. That is $108. That, oh, really? Yeah. And we have a code for it. We do, yeah, 10% off. Nice, okay. Moving forward. This one looks the same. This one, in fact, is a Mont Blanc. Still on the, the, the good stuff's underneath. Coming to the good stuff. But Mont Blanc's a very good brand as well. They make some fantastic pens and very expensive pens. This particular one is not. Okay, so this is the first nice pen. Okay, when I say that, that's a horrible thing to say. It's not the first nice pen. There's lots of nice pens. These are really nice. That's nice. This is nice. This is also nice. So this is a, are you ready for this? Monte Grappa. I think I said that right. So Monte Grappa, for those of you that don't know, is uh, an Italian pen manufacturer. They're up there with Mont Blanc. They're, they make some of the best pens in the world. And this is just spectacular. This is, um, I don't even know how to describe what this is made of. It's, it's obviously a, a plated metal, but it's like a rose gold. Take a look at that, Adam. Feel it, doesn't that feel lovely? Oh, it's light. Yeah. I didn't expect it to be so light. That's beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. It's, really just, like it's just class. Oh, nicely balanced, sir. Nicely balanced. I don't, is that what watch people say? I don't know. Well, they, I think they said they keep good, good time, right? Oh, okay. they say watch or a pen? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm like Kevin. He kept calling pens watches. Yeah, he still does. I spoke to him on the phone not that long ago. And he's, I, got, I got this new watch. I said, what brand? Uh, Mont Blanc. Monte Grappa, actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's qu quite crazy, right? <laughs> so, so I went a bit nuts with Monte Grappa. I contacted the manufacturer. And uh, again, Kevin, thank you very much for doing this to me. You made me spend more money. But wow, these things are gorgeous. And I'm going to show you some really, really cool ones. Are we ready for what's under here? Yeah. Trying to make it fun. How to make a, a oh, look, look, a spider. A spider, a money spider. Oh, ah, good. look. How do I, what do I do with it? Mm -hmm. Oh no, he's one of those little. Um, Don't hurt him. Um, of course, I'm not going to hurt him. I. Uh, <laughs> the, the, let's change the title to the runaway spider. I remember seeing these when I was little. Um, it's good luck to see yeah, these. Yeah, he's one of those red ones, and they used to be like around like ponds and stuff. I haven't seen one for years. Okay, he's just going to chill out there because. Well, I don't want him crawling on me, as cute as he might be. Well, I mean, I'm trying to get him to crawl on me and he won't. He's just doing dirt. Why, why don't I blow him gently? Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> didn't come out right, did it? <laughs> you, you know, you, you tarnished my mind. Come on, buddy. And I planned out. All right. Okay. We'll get him this way. Sorry. There's... How about I fan him a little? Okay, go on. Gently fan him. He's got a good grip. He has. I know. He's just chilling. All right. Never mind. Leave him there. He'll be fine. Leave him there. Shall I start by telling you what Monte Grappa did? Sure. So Monte Grappa, because I went a little nuts and I told them that I'd make a video, I have a discount code for them too. And that's going to be your responsibility to put a link in there. It'll be in but, the description, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's going to be 10% off everything they make. And when I get to this box here, and if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Adam Swords, you have one too. I do which we'll get to shortly, but let's go through these. I'm staying away from Monte Grappa for a second and I'm going to Fabergé. Showed you this before in the Kevin O'Leary video, but I've learned more about it. I've learned how to open it. It is in fact a rollerball. It's a gorgeous pen, right? That's this lovely. is a really, really nice pen. And um, 
I'll leave that one there. And then I'm going to go to this one, which is exactly the same in the fountain pen version of it. And I've got more fountain pens in here. I haven't written with a fountain pen in a long, long time. And I'm not sure I remember how to do it without, I used to write and for whatever reason, I'd get ink all over my hand. <laughs> You've done that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you write and then you, I don't know, you smudge something, but uh, it's an art and I'm going to get back into it because there's another one. Look, there's another spider, one there, one here. No, that's just a piece of dirt. That's the same oh, it is? Spider. That's the same one? Yeah. <sighs> Do you want to leave you to alone? Oh. Oh, Where did he go? I think you've blown him too hard. No, he's there. Oh, okay. He's there. Oh, See? Yeah. Be fine. Okay, moving on. Last one of these, another Fabergé pen. Thank you for doing all the close ups because me opening them and closing them is going to be my, rather boring. My to... pleasure. Okay, but this is made of Chinese lacquer, I think, and gold. Fabergé, made by Michel Perchon. And I know you're all going to correct me, those of you that know about pens, about. It's another one. Was it the same one? Why does it keep coming back? This one is from Kevin O'Leary. He gave me this pen and it's a JFK limited edition Mont Blanc and it's absolutely gorgeous. So thank you for that. And Adam, do your magic with it. Come back. I mean, he wants to be in the video. This will be the most famous, I think they call them money spiders. Don't they? I don't know, because he's one of those little red ones. Money spiders are just little black ones. No, no, they're red. Money spiders. Mm. Ah, get out. Oh. There he is. Whatever. Look, he keeps coming back. Right. Adam, do something. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Move him. Well, he's, he just... Put him on a leaf or something. Okay. Look at it, he's got a little tiny legs. He's got a little tiny legs. <laughs> He's cool. Oh, he's lovely. Okay, I'm getting back to pens. <laughs> okay. Now he just wrangled the spider. Adam, pay attention. Hold on, I'm wrangling the spider. Okay, okay. he's wrangling the spider. This is a Edelberg or Edelberg, and it is a Swiss company. This is a limited edition, hand-painted, hand-crafted, number 36 of 40 with the signature on there, Tiger Pen and you turn the top, it's beautifully engineered. I mean, absolutely beautifully engineered. It feels like um, something, I don't know uh, how would I best describe it. Feels like some high precision helicopter. I don't know if you hear the helicopter, but high precision piece of uh, genius creation, the way that this actually, <laughs> why are you laughing at me? Feel, feel it, Adam, you'll turn the top and you'll know what I'm talking about. It doesn't feel like a pen, it feels very well manufactured. Do you agree? I mean, yes, yeah, it was great. <laughs> Give it to me. Give it. You're horrible. You are absolutely horrible. I don't know. I've said this a million times. Why do I do this with you? <laughs> because if I wasn't here, you'd be buggered. Yeah, I don't know how to offer it. Fair comment. <laughs> you'd just be a man talking about pens. Okay. Is this, is this like... He's doing circles as a helicopter going over the top of the house. What did you do on the way here? They're looking for you. He's in his serial killer van. Yeah. Okay, so this is another Montigrappa, and this is made of uh, blue. They are circling. They're circling. They're looking for you, Adam. I'm telling you. Will this sh turn up on the microphone? LAPD looking for Adam. What is it? When I say he's circling, he's about 50 feet off the top of the house. Are you serious? That's why it's so loud. Is it LAPD? Did you get it? Mate, he's a butt, like it looks like he's looking in the garden. Was it LAPD? Yeah. Oh. Did but you do something that I need to know about? No, but I do want to ch check to make sure Diesel's still in the van. We're back? I mean, he like literally, he's tilted over looking. The guy was, I saw the guy's whites of his eyes. Okay, where was I? I was, I was, where are you going? He's gone, he's gone to check on Diesel who's in the serial killer van. Maybe they saw the van and they came looking to see whose it was. Is he in the van? I don't know. But how would he get out of the van? He, he... 
So why are you looking to see if he's in the van? There's someone that they're chasing that's like running around trying to steal cars. I don't want them to get in my van with the, which has the car keys. This, this house that we're in, the drive to it is about a uh, quarter of a mile long. Yeah. And it has a gate at the end. So it's unlikely they'd come down here. And my rolls is in the drive. So I think they'd take that before they take the keys. Are the keys in your rolls? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it was safe. I didn't think the LAPD <laughs> would show up. <laughs> It's very close. It's uncomfortable, actually. Like, look up right now. Oh my God. That's a bit, a bit close for comfort. That's what I mean. Like he's, it literally looks like he's circling this specific house. Yeah, he does. That's uncomfortable. You see what I mean? Adam, this is very uncomfortable. Look. I see. Mate, he's circling this specific... There's a fire down there. What is going on? Is it the end of the world? Wow. You, right? you okay? You doing all right in here? All right, good, just checking. Didn't want to make sure there's not anyone stealing you. Wow, this is an adventure. Yeah, that, that's a big fire. That's a huge fire and there's the moon. Wow. And here's me thinking this was just going to be a boring pen review. All right, so you were talking about a precision instrument, instrument of speed and mechanics uh, over there. Yeah, that was a, the last pen. That was the Edelberg. But I moved on to the Monte Grappa. And I did a lot of research on this, on this company. They're over 100 years old. And like I say, they might not be as well known to non-pen enthusiasts as Mont Blanc. What is this made of? It's like a blue azul. Um, it's a fountain pen and uh, not that expensive. I don't know how much it is, um, but like I say, there is a, a discount code for these for 10% off what, whatever you would want to get. Um, here is another one. And you know me, guys, uh, I'm a bit eccentric and a bit... Adam's OCD, but I'm the one that likes things in the same colors and different colors and what have you. So this is exactly the same as this one. No, it's not. I thought it was. No, this one is the same as this one. Hold on, hold on, erase. erase. This is exactly the same as this in green. How about that? I thought this was the same, but this isn't. This is in fact a rollerball, ballpoint. And this is another Monte Grappa pen. Beautifully done, signed and I'm going to put it next to that and it is in fact a little bit different. Going away from Monte Grappa for a second, this is a... I'm so good at this aren't I? This is a Jean-Pierre Lerum Paris. <laughs> why, why are you laughing at me? Why are you laughing? He's cracked up. Guys he's cracked up. It's a fountain pen I can tell you that and uh, why are you laughing? I'm Where not, are you? There you are. I'm not laughing. I'll, I'll, let me repeat that and get it oh, right. Please do, yeah. Jean P Pierre Larine Paris. Made in France. That was <laughs> the English part. Very nice pen. Um, incredibly fat. So fat that it barely fits in the container here. But hey. Uh, so we'll call that one fatty. <laughs> Adam's cracked up. He's out of control. If you could see him right now, he's completely out of control. What's so funny? Just, if there's any brands out there that would love to work with us and have Michael do a comprehensive <laughs> review of your product, please get in touch by, via the email address on the website. <laughs> okay, so, so, so let me get to some of the coolest pens yet. Are you ready? I am in love with these pens. I'm going to start with which one? I'm going to start with this one. This is just sick. It's a Monte Grappa and this one is, you have to remove it before flight, it's the Aviator. It comes in the craziest box. It looks like foggles, as in goggles with a zipper. It's the craziest thing you've ever seen. This pen is sick. Fountain pen. When you do the close-ups of it, Adam, I'm going to pass it to you because you have to understand what it is I'm talking about. Just look at that pen. Isn't that sick? That's cool, yeah. Oh, cool, it's got no step written on it. It's like an aircraft panel. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the aviator pen. So I'm not mad. 
I mean, you are, but this is a cool pen. It's beyond cool, right? Beyond. Yeah, I like that. So, yeah, put that one there. This is skulls, and it has two little tiny rubies there. And let me show you, Adam, so that you know where to find them when you do your beauty shots. You're probably inserting it right now. Oh. That didn't sound good. You're inserting it. <laughs> All with me, me, me. <laughs> me. Yes, if I'm going to do that, I want this one. It's got a much more gradual paper. <laughs> but is, isn't this cool? Don't throw my pens. Is, <laughs> isn't this cool? It's brilliant, mate. Yeah, I love it. Throw it's me. amazing. It, it, it's amazing. And again, I had no idea that, uh, that, that they make pens like this. Monty Grepper, uh, my hat is off to you. Brilliant. Now, these are amazing. Adam has one too. His is slightly different. Now, I have in here... I have to open it. It's got incredibly strong magnets. This is the paperwork and it comes with a certificate made for Michael Blakey with a date and the serial number and, and everything here and then some instructions. But it's beautifully done. There's a bottle of ink which is set into the box with PM for producer Michael, which I shall put back in here. And you ready? Ta da! There's two pens in here. It, they came in individual boxes. I put them in one box to make life easier and I put one in a bag so they didn't bang into each other. See how careful I am? You ready for this? So these are totally custom made pens. There is uh, a section on their website where you can custom build the pens. This one I did all gold with silver barrels and it has PM engraved on the side little diamond in the top, blue malachite in this fountain pen, and just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to lay that there. And Adam, before I get to this pen, I want to see yours. What did you do? Because I know you custom made it. Thank you. That's what I write, because I haven't seen yours. And oh, wow. Name. That's similar to mine. <laughs> Million dollar deals. <laughs> <laughs> Million dollar deals. You had that engraved on there? Yeah. This is a gorgeous pen. Well, I was like, if I'm going to have a bougie fountain Whoa, pen... Whoa, this is... doesn't get much more gold than this. <laughs> every single part that I can... Don't ever say anything about me again. I know. And, well, this is the problem. Everything I have is, like, black and boring. And then when I got to modify that, I just went all out. Every single part of that pen is gold-plated. It's absolutely amazing. And the thread on here is spectacular. Yeah. Well, wow, very, look, very... Look at the end of the lid. That's the only part that isn't gold. It's interesting that you chose that blue, right? Because like because it. I did the same thing. Yeah. That's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. And then here's my other one, which matches this one as a set, um, also with PM on it. And this is the rollerball version. No. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> This is the rollerball version. So, so there's the rollerball. And so I got it backward. It's not that funny. And there is the fountain. I'm going to put the nib on this. Not the nib, the lid on He took his mask off, turned away, and cracked up. What's so funny? You're just on one today. You say that every time. No, but Maybe no. it's just me. Have you ever thought about that? Well, yeah. OK, I'm done. I'm done. Is that it? So that, that's it. That's it for pens. That's I'm it for pens. For that. This is truly my new hobby. So watches, goodbye. No, that's not true. I, I still love my watches. But the pens are incredible and I'm going to get back into writing because if you think about it, people just type on a keyboard now. It's horrible. You lose the skill of writing. And when you have these beautiful pens to write with, hey. So, so I don't have deals for all of them. Uh, this one, the Panzera, we have a code for, which Adam will put up. And then all of the the um, Montenegras. <laughs> I got that wrong, didn't I? <laughs> you have to cut it. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's the police chopper coming after you that did this. Okay. Um, cut. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> I don't need those do I? <laughs> can you imagine if I drank? I mean seriously, can you imagine? I wonder if it would like actually make you a little bit more compass method. So as I was saying, 
Uh, we have deals on the Panzera and we have deals on the... <laughs> I can't say so we have, we have a 10% code on the Panzera watch. <laughs> There's something wrong with me. <laughs> I met you. <laughs> what happened? Guys, we've got a discount code on the Panzeras, 10% off. And we also have a discount code on the Monte Grappers, which Michael can't say. And that is also, I believe, 10% off. Correct. And it's not that I can't say it. It's my, my mind can't, can't function right now. <laughs> hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell. We'll see you in it to win it. <laughs> So as I was saying before we were rudely interrupted by a police chopper coming after Adam, we have a code for the Panzera, which is 10% off and anything on the Monte Grappa website is 10% off. There will be a code in the description and guys, these are gorgeous. I recommend go customize something. They're not that expensive and you'll have something that's uniquely yours. You'll treasure it. Wow. Anyway, that's it for pens for today. Now we're going to film this beautiful, beautiful house and you'll see that after this video. So hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. We're in it to win it. See ya. Do your thing, Adam. I can't, well, it's on a tripod. So Take it off the tripod. I just can't do that. <laughs> That's not very <laughs> I know, funny. exactly. Goodbye.